Okay, so this um, this is a different. Um, open XCOM we're using. Yeah. Uh, but we got to see some really amazing work. We are going to start playing through X Chronicles. Uh, it's made by Nord. If you're not familiar, Nord made the, um, uh, the World of Terrifying Silence mod that we played through, like, last year. That... Was very difficult. Uh, X Chronicles, I've tested it already. I've only played it once, testing it. Uh, I will say Nord likes to make the beginning of the game difficult, because that's what I've experienced with this so far. <laughs> so this, it, it's... I think he released it earlier this year. It's very new. And, and like Zero Fox says, it's kind of might and magic. It's very fantasy based, which he states at the bottom right here. It's He has some new things in this as well. I, I don't think it's like to the extent that the engine is really altered, but I think he has scripts in here that really make the gameplay differently, at least in the battlescape. Yes, Lord Firestorm. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so, we're just going to stick with that. And I will adjust the stream. Alright, stream info is updated. Warning. Warning. UFO detected. Nostalgic info. Oh, flinging chain lightning? Ouch. Hopefully not. That's <laughs> so terrestrial. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The rifle, yeah, the auto cannon and stuff. Oh, so we... Sorry, I, I don't know why I wasn't playing the music, but we got this cool little, like, fantasy theme. Meridian, what's going on, man? Uh, so far, <laughs> uh, I have played a little bit to kind of test it. The beginning is difficult just like in the world of terrifying silence. So it's going to be interesting. Superhero necromancer makes sense. <laughs> um all right, so I think I think we're good to go.
Uh, you know what? We'll turn that off for now. Maybe on a future playthrough, if we fail, we can turn it on if we really want to. Uh, we'll we'll see, Universe Antimatter. We'll see. So we're gonna start a new game. We can try veteran, so that it's not too easy. Uh, I I kind of don't want to do veteran though. <laughs> uh, I would mind doing something easier because of this mod, and we don't know what we're doing. Uh, but the mod is completable. Uh, it's just not as fleshed out as Nord would like it. Super Mage. Do Genius? No. Nope. Experience sounds fair? Probably. Um, I mean, I suppose we could do Veteran just to kind of stick with what we've been doing. We're going to be in for a rough time, though. Why no side growth? Oh, probably because in vanilla, Psy Strength could not be improved, but in Open XCOM, it can be an option, so uh, that's probably why he set it to where it's going to be like vanilla. Like, once you get your soldier, whatever they started with in regards to Psy Strength, that's what they have. But aren't I like super good OG XCOM player? Yes. But streaming I, I want it to be entertaining. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, you you guys have already brutalized me with UFO Afterlight. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Fine, we'll do veteran. Uh all right, where are we starting? Oh, actually, I think it kind of matters where you start. Uh, so we're going to want to start in... And this is barely spoilers. We want to start in uh, Russia, China, or United States. I know you like that universe antimatter. <laughs> that's what I was thinking too, Sotorez. Veteran seems to be what it's balanced around. Superhuman. I remember uh, Solarius saying... It's been three years, but... Um, X or XCOM files could actually get too easy on Superhuman. Do superhuman? I don't know. So, because superhuman spawns more enemies, you get more experience if you can survive, and you get more equipment, which means your your supplies increase, which may break the balance. <laughs> no, not quite like Gandhi in Civilization. So, yeah, it, not that, like... not, not, not The enemies wouldn't be easier. They would be harder. Their stats would be harder. But if you can survive that difficulty change, the benefits you get from it are just much higher. 
you know you get more equipment which means your supplies are better you can sell more which means you have more money you have more to shoot at which means you gain more experience <laughs> universe has antimatter potentially uh, so wh what should we pick guys you know what here let let's do a poll Two minutes. Antarctica challenge? <laughs> oh no. Make all things balance. There you go. Uh, this is X Chronicles. Oh my gosh, I misspelled Chronicles in my uh, title. Update. Uh, oh crap, which means I gotta update everything else. <laughs> it is not Chronicles, it is Chronicles. Um... I cannot edit my tweet. Finland's not on the list. Yeah, yeah, 72 zombies with just your car is not optimal. Not at all. Oh, crap. Well, I need to break up this video in the future. <laughs> Should have started a new recording. Starting in USA. At least do District 9. <laughs> what? Uh, let's see, where are we going to start in the USA? I guess we could start in the center ish. Uh, sure, Sotras, what's up? Ohio? <laughs> sure. Oh, I, I can't change it. Crap. Next time it'll be Ohio. <laughs> now we have Independence Day again. Ugh. Be a mobster? That'd be interesting. <laughs> Independence Day 2. More independent than the first one. Oh, I see what you're saying. That's a good point. Usually it's very good at syncing itself. I think the only reason why some of my RimWorld mods or videos were desynced is because the game just took up too many resources.
Mm. Or a finger snap. Um, let's see. Oh, I, I, okay. Okay, USA, which is a Bloodsport reference, I believe. Mobster Lobster. Oh, that's a good one. Fort Quick. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. The pandemic's about to decimate everything. Okay, so... We'll, we'll go through the UFOpedia, right? No, not this time. Although... There's actually not much in the UFOpedia. Uh, yeah, this... This is all pretty much stuff we already know. So, yeah, I won't bore you guys with that. We'll get stuff figured out. America. We need a more fun name. Eventually. Area 51. That could have worked. Um, Alright, so we start pretty minimally. Uh, we don't even have a gym. How do we not have a gym? Oof. Usually start in Europe. Honestly, when I played XCOM back in the day, I always started in central-ish, well, not really Central Asia, but kind of between Russia and China. Because that was kind of like the maximum amount of land to cover on the globe. Okay. So, we have some interesting things going on already. Stats are above where they're supposed to be. Flip flop. Orbital Beetle, what's going on? Uh, wow. 70 bravery? Jeez. And take a look at the health. Health is very low. Oh, the true final boss? That's a very good point, yeah. Marmbo, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Central America to start? Yeah, I mean, that covers quite a bit, too. Uh, Country-wise. Uh, armor, we have none. Uh, yeah, we do have a helicopter. Uh, equipment. Quite minimal. Not even enough to cover for our our soldiers. Who needs a gym? <laughs> oh, operative? Yeah. Uh, can we research anything? So this is why I mentioned our st uh, starting locations. I didn't know this until, obviously, after I started. Interestingly enough, <laughs> my first base, I put in, like, Mongolia. And I was like, it's not in Russia or China. What? <laughs> Missing the Uzi and Shadi. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to cooperate with the U.S. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's where I started. Whew. Got scared there for a second, thought I picked the wrong research. Uh, purchase, we can purchase some stuff. Uh, which we will. A couple of hunting rifles, some... Some ammo. Uh... Another hunting knife, so everyone can have one. Uh, a bunch of first aid. Clearly we don't have that. I don't know if these recharge.
there a way I can find that out? <clears throat> yes, branching already. Nope. Once you pick one and research it, you're done. With the other two. So, I think what I'll do, guys... Um, I will continue using the name list from the previous playthrough, if that's okay. So, Universe Antimatter, the game is completable. It's version, like, 0.99.6 or something. Um, so, it's completable. It's just not as fleshed out as he would like it. So, uh, let me see if I can figure out... If this recharges. I think... Ah, yes. I think this means it recharges. Alright, so we don't... We don't need to buy 30. Uh, let's, let's drop this to 10. Gotcha. Uh, let's buy some more of these guys as well. Alright. Um, that's... I think that's about it. I don't know if we really... See, I, I don't know if we really need to build stuff immediately. General stores. We have plenty of space. Can we build a workshop? We can. We'll probably want to. Fire extinguisher sounds important. I kind of thought about that. <laughs> With lots of salt. Okay. Cooperation with the USA. The USA will become our trustee in council. Officials of State Department confirmed a consent to cooperation. We will be able to conclude contracts for equipment purchases and to receive other help from the American Intelligence Services. Building a base within the United States borders may provide additional preferences, which is exactly why we picked one of the countries to start. USA Police Contract. Monster Hunt. Hint! Multiple damage types. Use weapons with different effects. You will find that some enemies are excellent at resisting, if not immune, to one or more types of damage. It is better to have a backup plan in case. That's a huge hint. Uh, I found this out in my first mission. Uh, and is part of why I stated that the game starts out very difficult. Excuse me. Uh, let's see if purchasing changed. No. Uh, how much longer on this stuff? 12 hours. We are going to...
Ah, despawn. I don't know how long these last. I don't think we can make it 12 hours. Notice we don't have a quick draw. <laughs> so far, the battlescape has been what's difficult for me. I didn't play for a long time, though, so I didn't get very far. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with the knife. Yeah, so that's the part that was difficult to start with for me. Several civilians suffered from the attack of unusual animals. Our task is to eliminate danger to the civilian population and analyze the threat. If you have to abandon the mission, return the operatives to transport and click abort mission. Okay. Oh no, I don't, I don't want it to be easy, uh, but like I don't want it to be so brutal that, you know, we're, like, UFO Afterlight Alter Mod difficult, that's what I don't want. Oh, and I do have a different option on as well, uh, this tracks your time units and your energy left. So we do have an extra number there. Oh, gotcha, Zero Fox. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it, it's different. It's something to get used to having this extra number, but you know, I kind of thought, why not? Uh, here's our first enemy, a blind wolf. Uh. I'm assuming that's probably one of its attacks. I don't know what that is. Uh, but these are the guys I ran into <laughs> the first time I played through. It's a chomper? It looks like a chomper. I'm not sure if this is an eye, though. This could be, um, why it's flashing. Go get him, civilian. Exactly. Oh, interesting. I held control. I think the same thing happened in the world of terrifying silence where even if you told them to run they would still stop when they saw the enemy which is interesting that two of nord's mods do that hmm. <laughs> looks like an alien to you yeah yeah, well, that's that's what we're starting with. Uh, 
Get him! <laughs> One health left. Uh, is that on? Oh, shoot. I don't know why that's on. I think it's on by default, but it's not, like, permanently on. Perfect for some viewers? Yeah, sounds like it. Well, dang. Notice I'm not shooting. <laughs> There's a good reason for that. You shoot. Uh, they th these are shields, essentially. So you'll get one stab. You go there. You get two. Okay. Shield 39, and you missed. Uh, and that's that. <clears throat> the villain, go for it. Uh, I'm gonna go just a little bit longer. It's break time now, but. I think I'm just going to keep going a bit. Punch! Oh, nice! It's right behind you. Uh, six. Of course. Yeah, look how little damage we do. Patoo! Jeez. One shot. We won. Uh, two civilians survived, so that's good. Uh, we did lose two of our guys, though. <laughs> Wolverines, yeah. Uh, okay, one person got plus one melee. Uh, Sabati at plus two to firing accuracy. I guess that works. Uh, four alien corpses. Uh, we do have more clips in route. Okay. Uh, we should probably replace those soldiers. Get a couple more. Okay, go ahead and save real quick. USA Police Contract. Um, now we can acquire and use the weapon and equipment adopted by the US Police. Alright. 
Contact aliens. Wow. Alien corpse. Check that out first. Smith and Vesson. Nice. <laughs> Remington 1100 shotgun. Uh, H&K UMP SMG. Uh, the Colt Commando. This is true. Um, the Bell uh, 1X. Okay, it's another helicopter. Uh, it can hold up to eight. Oh, it's a straight up upgrade. At least just because it's it carries two more people. Um, uh, I think it would actually be worth it to swap them. I think we will. We can buy tasers now. Uh, tasers have three charges and no clips. I exactly, Shira. Yeah. Uh, so that's pretty neat. Just, you know, you can't lose your clips. Or your your guns, I mean. Um, the Smith & Vesson. Sixth Kinetic. Um, let's see. Oh, it does do some extra stun damage. That's cool. Riot Shield. Nice. A uh, Remington shotgun. That looks like it can be quite useful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're kind of doing it again. It's interesting, a lot of the damage is super low. And the health is low, too. So, it, it, I'm interested to see what comes of that and why it was like that. The SMG, very nice. Seven kinetic damage. Ooh. Excuse me. The Colt Commando. It's essentially your rifle. Uh, good damage, I guess? Oh, and it's interesting. Um, uh, you cannot get this ammo if you went with Russia. And this gun... You have to have gone through the USA to get it. So that's really neat how he has this uh, set up so far. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely interested in buying some of those. Some of those. Uh, yeah, kind of interested in shotgun. Uh, so the Colt, 5 damage, not the most accurate, 58% uh, compared to the Smith & Vesson. Uh, but, well, it is more accurate than this, so we may not want to go over to that, because that's also... Ah, so it does slightly less damage, but this is more accurate, so I think I'm going to stick with this just for accuracy's sake. <laughs> nice. Uh, smoke grenades. Yes, give me smoke grenades, please. And police vests. Uh, let's get eight, because we're eventually going to get the helicopter. 
Uh, so we will sell the helicopter. And we will buy the, the bell, uh. <laughs> How long is that going to take? 24 hours, not bad. Piece of cake. Yeah. Yeah, the damage is down significantly, so I, I'm kind of wondering what that's going to affect in the future. Hmm, okay. Aliens terrorize Havana. Well... 500 points if we don't do it. Attack of Goblins. So I did do this mission as well. Uh, this is where it got frustrating. <laughs> Settlement was attacked by savages. Reports indicate the unusual weapons and appearance of the attackers. The police failed to take control of the situation. We did get our stuff, yeah. Oh, just looked weird. Okay, eight people. Cool, looks neat. Okay, equipment. Um, oh, shoot. We're short on hunting knives now. I didn't think to buy more than up to six. Um, do... 15? Do sixteen. I uh, will do all ten. That'll give us two extras. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, I think it might be zero fox. Yeah, police using miniguns is a bit much. Alright, so 54. We're going to want the Colt Commando. And notice we can put stuff on the net. Uh, but I, I, yeah, it has to be like specifically for it. Okay, knife's not gonna really work out. Uh, 53 is the next highest. I'm fine with that. We'll probably toss a smoke grenade real soon anyway.
Okay, so 50, we'll give you a hunting rifle. Oh. Uh, let's save this as Colt. Cold. <laughs> Commando. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we got that. Hunting rifle. Rifle. Alceris! How's it going? Called to commando? <laughs> Too much weight, huh? Well, you'll be one of the first to throw a grenade. Alright. Uh, shotgun, I guess? sure to go hunt wabbits? Of course. Ooh, fighting off a cold? I'm sorry to hear that. Seems to be a lot of that going around. Uh, let's drop that and give you a, a, a grenade for now. Goblins <laughs> for XP and gold, yep. Uh, you're going to need the shotgun build. You're gonna want the shotgun build too. <laughs> huh. Interesting, Alceris. I was not aware of that. Alright. Uh, so we got that. Um, you know what? We can go ahead and we can rename some people. I will just go down my list uh, to keep it, you know, kind of fair, I guess. Uh, I know you guys have certain things that you want to do. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to do that immediately, but I will do my best to fix it later. Ooh. I was uh, slightly off of the keyboard there. And of course, we won't do clones until after everyone's gotten a character first. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, long COVID's no joke. I was slightly off. <sighs> I don't know. My hands are like kind of at an angle, so it's it's weird typing sometimes. Oh, interesting, Alceris. Wow, Lord Firestorm, you've dodged COVID this whole time? That's awesome. Okay, Shira. Sure. I'll, uh, I'll make a note of that. Yeah, see? I'm off by a key. Well, we're over halfway through the list. Cool. I'm actually watching the game on my OBS. <laughs> and looking at the list on my second monitor as well. It's working out pretty well. Zero Fox it might be coming up, maybe? Yeah. I, I, I think we're probably going to see some different stuff later. Nice, Jira. Uh, Osborne's. Wow. I have four more people left on the list. We really made a made it through quite a bit. Uh, so I guess as a matter of fact, let's we get four more people. Yeah, that'll be everybody. Oh, wow. Lawman, that's crazy, man. Although my mom works at a, uh, like a health clinic and it took her almost two years to get it I think oh yeah we, we got four people coming up um, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this run on slow speed um, I will take a break now because it's been an hour and 22 minutes uh, it's been roughly like half the time uh, for this game. Uh, but I do need to refill my water and use the restroom. Let's have those animals join us. <laughs> I wish. Um, but yeah, give me just maybe a couple minutes, guys, and uh, I'll be right back. 